follow me? Justin, very good to meet you. Uh, you know, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. back in here. I'm a senior at uh, Syracuse High School, and uh, a little bit about me. I plan on going to Iowa State for mechanical engineering. Um, I guess that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a great university right here. Um, yeah, I like uh, things I enjoy, like 3D printing, um, doing like computer stuff, and also I like mechanical things like working on cars, trucks, things like that. So. Good start. Yeah, tractors, right? Yeah, tractors too. Right. Got that Iowa farm boy. <laughs> we have a discussion around this. Um, Marie and I have had a little conversation back and forth about caps and what that potential could be. Um, so I've got some thoughts on it. We've got some thoughts on that. So we ought to have a little conversation about what, what this could mean going forward. This right. doesn't have to be the one and only and I look forward to an opportunity. Um, it's a good Oops. Unplug it some further. So you got a couple back there. Yes. When a product lab fails initially with a customer, um, it's, in the, it's in the business's best interest to uh, come up with a quick and easy solution to that problem to help keep the customer happy and also satisfaction with the company. Um, I'm Justin Witt, and I'm here to present a custom blind solution solution to you guys about um, a pro uh, problem that Mr. Swartlow is having. Uh, you can do have a clicker. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, Mr. Swartley came to uh, Bally to buy a, a set of blinds, and uh, the first set of blinds he bought was roughly a year ago, and that was lasted about four months until that part initially broke. So he contacted customer support and uh, they sent them a new blind and that one lasted roughly a month. And then that's when he came up with the decision of either um, trying to find a different company or finding a solution to this problem, which is when he came to CAPS. And uh, I was interested in this project because it had to do with 3D printing. I have two 3D printers at home so uh, that's something that I like to do. And uh, I also really love to problem solve what, no matter what it is. Um, just finding solutions to any problem I can find. Next one. Um, so here's the part that's been uh, having the failures in Mr. Swartley's blinds. And the part that you have is an additive piece that's going to be added to the top of this to help enclose the part because it will break diagonally making the rod that goes in it uh, snap. And I designed this piece. Um, coming up to this piece, I uh, first was thinking about making th this part thicker, which would make it so less chance of it would break. But uh, after going through that, I decided that it'd be better, for, at least for me, it'd be simpler to make that piece, which would just go over top of it. And I decided this because it's simpler for me to design. And for uh, the customers that already have the product out, it'd be an extremely easy solution for them to uh, fix their blinds in case they were broken or to uh, prevent them from breaking. Because um, when Mr. Swartley gave me the blinds, uh, trying to take this piece out was extremely hard. And I had to uh, 3D print a part, and I didn't think a customer would really be able to do that and might make them more unhappy if they had to fix it like that. Um, you can go to the next slide. Um, so like I said, here's the part, and it fits over that existing piece that is breaking. So it's almost kind of like gluing it, except more of a mechanical part. And uh, it's extremely easy to install. It takes, once you get the blind down, maybe about a minute, roughly. And uh, extremely inexpensive for the amount of plastic that's being used. And uh, Mr. Swirly has had the blinds up for about two months now without any failures um, so far, so it hasn't been working very well. 
So the results I got from this project, um, I learned more about problem solving going through the steps of um, deciding what I want to design. And uh, he got functioning blinds that uh, were working so he wouldn't have to keep getting into contact with the company. Uh, it was extremely simple installation. Uh, if you know how to take the blind, put the blinds up, you can put this part in very easily. And it resulted in a satisfied customer, Mr. Swartley. Um, so now him and his wife can open and close the blinds. <laughs> he looks happy. He looks like the door. I would actually like the punchline because I want to go up and I'm not going to do anything for the palettes. She's doing extremely patient. Part of it is, you know, I heard first one of this. Maybe before you just pop it in the head. So you're using the bracket that's already on it. I mean, partially that, but it's mainly the tolerances between the two parts. We have a precedent.